Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. On today's segment of Memories of Malta, I'm going to be making a fish dish. Now this is really, really Mediterranean in flavor. It's a fish in tomato sauce with capers. I'll show you what I mean when I bring out the ingredients. <clears throat> As a side, I'm going to be serving this with a simple salad of grilled asparagus with lemon and peas. Very simple. Now, normally in Malta, this would probably be served with chips. I'm going to stay away from the carb-heavy chips, and I'm going to serve this with awesome sweet potato fries. All right, guys, I'll be right back and show you everything we're going to need to make this awesome dish. Stay with me. Hey guys, I'm back to show you what we're going to need to make the fish dish. Now this fish and tomato and caper sauce obviously requires fish. And what I have here are two fillets of baza fish. It's a firm fish. Um, don't use a fish that's going to crumble or flake apart on you easily. These can stand up to being stewed a little bit. Now fish doesn't take long to cook, but you want a firmer fish. In Malta, they would use probably lampuki, which you may know as mahi-mahi or dolphin fish. So any fish, any fillet of fish that will, um, that's a little bit um, firmer is perfect for this. I have here one large tin of stewing tomatoes, juice and all, and of course the capers, caper berries. Now I'll probably add more than what I'm showing you here because this is for display purpose. I have some freshly ground black pepper, freshly ground sea salt, which is from Gozo, and then I have some spices here. This is a fennel seed. Fennel grows like weeds in Malta. It really grows wild. And fennel and fish are synonymous together. They really work well. If you have fresh fennel, go ahead and sliver some up and put that in there instead of the seed. But I'm using the seed tonight. Over here I have tarragon. And tarragon, again, goes really hand in hand with fennel. It almost has an anise licorice kind of flavor. And I was lucky enough to grow fennel in my garden so I have some or sorry uh, tarragon rather and I have some fresh tarragon which I'm going to be using optional is some garlic powder this is the granulated kind without the salt now guys talking about dried herbs like when you're using dried tarragon or dried oregano any dried herb when the recipe calls for let's say one tablespoon always go a little bit less because it's more pungent it's more strong when they're in the dried form and what you can do is put some in the palm of your hand and give it um, a rub and it releases the essential oils right so that's all we're gonna need for the fish portion of the dish now I did say our side was gonna be as asparagus and pea salad and what I have here are two beautiful bunches of asparagus that were um, they're homegrown here in Ontario and the season is still new so they're quite um, small right now but you don't really want thick asparagus because they're woodsy so try and get asparagus that's tightly wrapped the buds are tight and you want them fairly thin you don't want the really really thick ones so of course I have peas here now these are frozen peas guys don't worry you can use frozen peas once they thaw out you can eat them raw they're flash frozen so it's just like a, having a raw pea you don't need to cook them peas are coming into season here I can't wait of course lemon and don't throw away that zest either because that's gonna go in the salad and lastly, I have some Parmesan cheese, which I'm going to shave on top. So that's all we need for the salad. I'm going to get this started first so it can hang out in the fridge and chill. And um, our other side, as I said, were sweet potato fries. And you know what? I always carry yams or sweet potatoes in my fridge. But my grocer had them already cut up and done and frozen for half the price. So I'm going to cheat with the, with the sweet potato fries and use them. Okay, guys, I'll be right back and show you how we put together first the salad. Stay with me. Hey, guys, okay, so I'm back to show you real quick how to prepare your asparagus. Have you ever wondered where to cut asparagus or how to cut asparagus? Here's a spear of asparagus. And what you can do, I hope I'm going to show you properly, is give it a slight bend. And wherever it snaps, 
that's where you cut it. This part you're not going to cook with. Obviously, this part is. Now, don't throw these away. You can freeze them um, and make a stock out of them, or you can use them as a flavor enhancer in um, soups and then discard them later. Um, the, you know, waste not, want not. So that's how you would cut your asparagus. I'm going to continue with the rest. And just where it naturally bends... That's where you take it. Okay, guys, so these are going to go into a grill pan, and I'll show you what I do next. Okay, guys, my asparagus is in just a little bit of olive oil in my grill pan, and it doesn't take long. Don't overcook them. You don't want them soggy. Um, just like, get them, like, a little bit blistered, and then it's time to throw in your lemon rind and lemon juice carefully. If you're going to be doing this on the stove, it might splash on you. I did add some cracked black pepper and some sea salt. This will just go on the uh, back on the stove for another, what, two minutes or so, if that. And then I'm going to take them off and let them cool and cut them into pieces. And that's the start of our salad. Okay, guys, see you in just a bit. Hey guys, in the meantime, I've started my salsa or the sauce for the fish and I've just um, put in my stewing tomatoes and breaking them up. I added a little bit of onion powder. If you want to add some uh, diced onions or shallots, go ahead. Um, the garlic powder, some sea salt and black pepper. And I'm going to get this going first before I put in my herbs and the fish because I don't want the herbs to go bitter. All right, so this is the beginning, and just keep an eye on it. If you see it that it or feel that it needs a little bit of water or stock, go ahead and you can add that as well. All right, so this is going back on the stove and get it to a boil, and then the fish will go in with the herbs, and it won't take long at all. Hey guys, at this point, my tomatoes have broken down. I've added the capers, I've added the fennel seed, and I'm just gonna slowly simmer this now, and then add in the fish, and then finally the herbs. You wanna add the herbs closer to the end because you don't want them to become bitter. So, there you have it. You see how easy it is to pull together. All right guys, see you in just a bit. Hey all update time. Um, my asparagus, lemon, and pea salad has been hanging out in the fridge. I cut my asparagus into um, bite-sized pieces, um, and of course the heads as well are there. And believe me when I tell you, you do not need to add anything else because the olive oil that you um, grilled your asparagus in, coupled with the lemon juice, the salt, and the pepper, is enough. I tasted it and it's awesome. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, shave ah, wrong side. <laughs> shave some Parmesan cheese on here. And this is going to go back in the fridge and just hang out for a bit and chill until our fish is ready. What I've gone ahead and done with the sauce is now I've added the um, tarragon and it hit the sauce and wow the flavor is just awesome and the smell is awesome I did taste it and it's great okay so there's our salad ready it's gonna just hang out in the fridge for a bit and guys I'll be right back and we'll throw in our fish all right, guys, my salsa, my sauce is um, pretty much done. Well, not done, but um, reduced. And I did add a little bit more tarragon in there. And, oh, the smell. Whoa. It's awesome. So all that's left to do now is to add my fish gently. And I have seasoned the fish. Um, as you should, with a little, just a little bit of sea salt and some black pepper. So I'm going to just nestle my fish in there. Mm -hmm. 
right. A little bit of covering. That's it. Lid back on. And the gentle simmer. Back on the stove. And I'll see you when it's done. Hey guys, it's minutes till my fish is done. Wow. Oh. oh, oh. You should smell the capers and the fennel seed. It's awesome. The fish is almost done. It's getting really tender. So at this point, I do have the dried tarragon and I'm just gonna add the fresh. And that's it. This will be covered for a minute and we're done and we play it up. Alright guys, see you in a bit. Hey guys, we're all plated and done. I portioned off a piece of the fish for myself. The salsa or the sauce has that perfumed flavor of the fennel seed, the fresh and dried tarragon, the capers. It's really, really wonderful. And well, I'm going to show you with my finger. It's really fresh and soft. The fish came out amazing. Mm. Tastes great too. All right, our salad. Guys, really citrus flavor. You don't need anything more. I've shaved some Parmesan cheese um, pieces on top. Our peas, our asparagus, the asparagus heads, the grape. My sweet potato fries, all I did was I added a little dash of nutmeg and cayenne pepper and they became really nice and crispy. Mm. Okay guys, I want to eat. Taste the flavors of Malta today. Please hit subscribe, please like, please comment, and we'll see you next time on Memories of Malta. Take care of yourselves and each other. Ciao.